OK, let's program some MIDI notes to be played by a software instrument. In this case, I'm going to use a piano sound from the EXS24. In Logic, MIDI notes are contained in MIDI regions, so the first thing I'll need is a new region. I'm going to use the pencil tool by hitting Escape and then the number 2. Now I'll make a new region and I'll change back to the pointer tool, Escape and then 1. So now I can stretch out my MIDI region as long as I like, but two bars should be sufficient for this demonstration. So a double click on a MIDI region opens the piano roll, which as you can see gives me a grid. On the vertical axis is notes, and on the horizontal axis is time. I can audition the notes by clicking on the vertical keyboard at the side here. Notice that all the way over here at the top right of the window, there are drop downs for tools just like there are in the arrange window. And just as in the arrange window, these can be more quickly accessed by hitting escape. You can see that many of the tools are the same, and mostly they have similar functions to their arrange window counterparts. The pointer tool lets you select and move notes. The pencil tool creates new notes, the eraser deletes them. The finger tool is used specifically to change note lengths. That is possible using the pointer tool as well, but the finger tool requires a bit less precision because it works over the whole note, and that's useful if you're working with really small notes. The scissors tool slices notes in two, and the glue tool sticks them back together again. The mute tool toggles individual notes between muted and unmuted. However, the same thing can be accomplished by selecting a note with the pointer and pressing the letter M, which is how I almost always do it. So below the mute tool are the quantize tool and the velocity tool. These tools are specific to MIDI editing and they're extremely useful. So let's have a look now at velocity, which is a fundamental part of MIDI editing. So the f easiest way for me to demonstrate what it is, is to record a small portion of MIDI using my MIDI keyboard. So I'll make sure that this track is armed and I'll hit the letter R to begin recording. So here are the MIDI notes that I played, and as you can see, all the notes are coloured differently. Now, one of the benefits of working with software instruments and MIDI is that you can edit every aspect of your performance after you've recorded it with no degradation in the sound. And that's handy if you can't play the keyboard like me. So we can move the notes around using the pointer tool. We can change their length although we can also do that with the finger tool, as I mentioned earlier. And we can also edit their velocity, which is shown, whoops, shown at the moment by their color. The velocities here are determined by how hard I hit the key each time. So velocity is just a bit of MIDI data, which tells the software instrument how hard I hit the key and I can tell the instrument to respond to that information in many different ways. One of the most common ways that instruments respond to velocity is to change the volume of the note based on it, which is what you'd expect, right? Hit the key harder, get a louder sound. But you could also instruct the instrument to respond in many other ways to the same piece of information. For example, I might set things up so that a higher velocity opens a filter so that softly hit notes have very few high frequencies, while hard hit notes have lots of high frequencies. So as you can imagine, that can give you some really interesting and expressive sounds. So the colors of the notes show different velocities, and as you'd probably expect, a red note has a high velocity going down through orange, yellow, green, and blue, and purple as the notes get softer and softer. 
and by using the velocity pointer tool you can easily change the velocity of any note. In the next video we're going to look at Hyperdraw which might have a name that's more exciting than it can live up to but it is pretty useful. It's a way of editing many different MIDI values including velocity in a kind of graphical way alongside the notes in the piano roll so it can be very useful indeed.